But yeah, it's just so bizarre to me that like I don't remember when the last time we didn't have a first pet because Clinton had socks. Uh, Bush, uh, George W. Bush had uh, what was that dog's name? Rusty or something? Rufus? I don't know. He had a cute little dog. The Obamas had a dog. Uh, I'm pretty sure first George Bush had a dog. I'm almost positive he did. Reagan I'm, I'm pretty, probably I'm pre- had a dog. Like, I'm pretty sure it was, it was basically a like a PR like you have you to had have to a dog. yes yeah instead I, now no you know what all the rules have changed you don't you don't even have to be able to say a fucking sentence anymore <laughs> maybe you you can have instead of a dog you have a, you can have a brilliant virus <laughs> um it, all right so we're gonna ta- <laughs> we're gonna take a uh, we're gonna take a break here because I want to go through the list of presidential pets <laughs> why not uh, i mean i mean the movie's the fun but we we do need to we do need to talk about this it's it's actually not i don't think every president had an animal but a lot of them had animals uh george washington had polly the parrot uh 36 <laughs> hounds 36 hounds <laughs> horses uh john adams had horses thomas jefferson had a mockingbird Two bear cubs, which were a gift from Lewis and Clark. <laughs> that seems like something you made. That it's, Hemingway it made up in a book. Like, it sounds like a a <laughs> a remix of uh, the Twelve Days of Christmas. <laughs> Two bear cubs and a mockingbird <laughs> in a tree. Um, James Madison had macaw the parrot. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> what a parrot the macaw <laughs> and some sheep. Um. James Monroe this is where we're getting into. Like, he had a spaniel, pretty normal. That's a that's a dog, you know. We got it. We, we're 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 kind of getting, getting mod- into. We're getting a modern age where you don't you don't have animals that you got from a dowry when you incorrect because incorrect because John Quincy Adams had an alligator and some silkworms. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Andrew Jackson uh, had horses named Truxton. He probably treated them <laughs> like shit because he's a monster. <laughs> probably uh <laughs> I'm, my name's truxton and i like to fuckston uh he had a horse that's, named <laughs> that's now that is now gonna be my bumper sticker uh horses named truxton sam patches emily lady nashville and bolivia truxton reminds me of like like Madden nineteen Madden two thousand with the with the tr- the truck stick that helps you tackle more. <laughs> uh, it was also uh, he also had a parrot named Paul P O L and some know, ponies. Did it, is there was there an alternate history America where everyone owned birds? I guess uh, Martin Van Buren went the Joe Exotic route and he had two tiger cubs. That's impossible. Uh, William Henry Harrison had a goat and a cow. Uh, John Tyler uh, had LeBeau, a greyhound, and a horse named the General. How many presidents have you guys had, anyways? Uh, we're 15? at 45 now. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's James Knox, uh, James Knox Polk had a horse. Zachary Taylor had Old Whitey, the horse. Uh, Miller Fillmore and Franklin Pierce, no pets. Who are they? I don't know. <laughs> uh, James Buchanan had a Newfoundland named Lara. Uh, an eagle and an elephant. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. M- most most people would say probably one of the greatest presidents. Uh, he had Jack the turkey, uh, a couple goats named Nanny and Nanko, some ponies, cats, dogs, pigs, and a white rabbit. If you we go this entire list, I and mean, if we have to go through, we all are 45, going through the entire list. I'm sorry. Okay. They, okay. It's at, crazy. at any point, spo- just spoil me in advance. Do any of them have a pet shark? Uh, it's a long list. Uh, okay, but but no, I don't. I don't think so. Um, I'm glad some uh, people are paying for this one. But let's 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 uh let's keep going. Maybe we'll be surprised. Uh, Andrew Johnson had some white mice. <laughs> so so do a lot of people. Should they just get it in the house? <laughs> uh, Ulysses S. Grant had a Newfoundland named Faithful, a horse named Jeff Davis. <laughs> That's a human name. Did he well, turn yeah, a human into a horse? It's, it's Jefferson Davis, his his opponent in the uh, Civil War. Um, 
Julia, Jenny, Mary, Butcher Boy, Cincinnatus, Egypt, and St. Louis. Those were all other horses. Weird Uh, names. He had had ponies named Reb and Billy Button, uh, some pigs, dogs, a parrot, and roosters. He had a farm. (laughs) Yes, he did have a farm. Uh, Rutherford B. Hayes had a Siamese cat named Siam. Very, very original there. Uh, Grimm, who was a greyhound, an English mastiff named Duke, a Newfoundland named Hector, a terrier (laughs) named Dot, uh, canaries, cows, horses, goats, and other assorted dogs. What? <laughs> they, a lot of these presidents just had, like, they turned the White House into a farm. Uh, James Garfield had Kit the horse, Vito the dog, not clever, and some fish. So getting close to sharks, perhaps. Uh, Chester A. Arthur, no pets. Uh, Grover Cleveland had a poodle, some canaries, and mockingbirds. If Garfield has a dog, I will laugh. <laughs> uh, we're getting there. Are we? Uh, let's see. Somewhere. No, we we passed him already. James James Garfield had Kit the horse, oh, Vito right. the dog, and Fish. Odie. Um, he had Odie the dog. <laughs> James uh, Odie. Uh, Benjamin Harrison had Dash the dog, Whiskers the goat, uh, some other dogs, and a possum. <laughs> <laughs> Did he uh, find it on the road? I... <laughs> Uh, William McKinley had a parrot and an Angora cat and her kittens. Oh, that's cute. Now, like the Arista cats. brace yourself for Theodore Roosevelt, who has a bit of a name drop in, in First Dog, which I know we'll get back to at some point. Uh, this is a this is one of the big ones, but not the biggest, surprisingly. Um, we have a Chesapeake Bay Retriever named Sailor Boy. A Pekingese named Manchu, a mutt named Skip, terriers named Jack and Pete, cats named Tom Quartz and Slippers, Josiah the Badger, uh, Alg- <laughs> Algonquin the Pony, Ellie the Macaw, Jonathan the Piebald Rat, Emily, oh my god, Emily Spinach, a garter snake, 12 horses, <laughs> 5 bears, 5. <laughs> Five guinea pigs, other snakes, and a partridge in a pear tree. Two kangaroo rats, lizards, roosters, an owl, a flying squirrel, a raccoon, a coyote, a lion, a hyena, a zebra. Theodore Roosevelt was Joe Exotic. (laughs) I'm going to go on on a limb and say nobody needs to own a zebra. No, probably not. Uh, William Taft uh, had Pauline Wayne the cow. Which Shut is, your mouth. Which is ironic considering his girth. Uh, Woodrow Wilson had old Ike the Ram, some sheep, chickens, cats. Warren Harding had Laddie Boy, an Airedale, which I guess is a breed of dog. Old Boy, a bulldog, and some canaries. Also uh, called boys. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge. This is getting into some some big territory here. Uh, a terrier named Peter Pan. <laughs> Uh, a dog named Paul Pry, Calamity Jane, a sheepdog, Boston Beans, a bulldog, King Cole, a shepherd, Palo Alto, a birder. Uh, he had some collies uh, named Rob Roy, Prudence Prim, Ruby Ruff, and Bessie. He had some chows. He had cats, raccoons, uh, a donkey named Ebenezer, a bobcat, a goose, a mockingbird, a bear. What was with presidents owning bears? When did anyone own a bear? What could you do with a bear besides wrestle it? Fight Calvin it Coolidge a... also had an antelope, a wallaby, a pygmy hippo, and some lion cubs. I assume a lot of these are gifts from other leaders, but it's all crazy. I'm sure, yes. they, like, I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff like, this zoo had a bear that once was a pet of Theodore R. Roosevelt and Calvin Coolidge. And it's like... <laughs> guess what it's gross <laughs> uh herbert hoover pretty normal had a lot of had a lot of dogs looks like a malamute a wolfhound uh a, a setter uh, some shepherds he also had an opossum for some reason what uh fdr pretty similar uh, a lot of some scottish terriers german shepherds um he had a great dane that he named president <laughs> Um, some sh- uh, English sheepdog, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I mean, it was FDR. You know, he was he was uh, he was in there for a little while. Uh, Harry S. Truman had, oh my God, had Feller quote the unwanted dog, which was adopted by his personal physician. Uh, another dog named Mike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the wanted dog. <laughs> uh, had Dwight D. Eisenhower had Heidi, a Weimariner. John F. Kennedy had quite a few. He had a cat, a canary, a rabbit, a horse, uh, some ponies named Macaroni, Tex, and Leprechaun. <laughs> uh, how long until one of them actually has a pet leprechaun? <laughs> I don't know. It's coming. Uh, parakeets, hamsters, uh, do- uh, r- r- other dogs, um, and and some and some puppies. Uh, Lyndon Johnson had some beagles, um, collies, mutts, hamsters, and lovebirds. Lyndon Johnson also had a notoriously big dick. Um, <laughs> uh, Richard Nixon. Now this is the one where everybody kind of gets into uh, like sort of knowing them because he had uh, he had the little dog um, checkers. Which yep. everybody remembered, at least like when you make jokes about Nixon, that would be a thing that you might hear about his dog. Uh, he had a poodle, a terrier, Irish setter, some fish. Uh, Gerald Ford had golden retriever and a Siamese cat. Jimmy Carter had a dog named Grits. <laughs> and oh my God, Jimmy Carter had a Siamese cat named Misty Malarkey Ying Yang. Oh, I hate breeder names. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ronald Reagan had a um, King Charles Spaniel and a sheepdog. George H. W. Bush. Now we're getting into the modern era. I mean, we were already, but uh, he had Millie and uh, one of her pups, Ranger. Bill Clinton, Socks the Cat, uh, and then Buddy the uh, the Retriever. George yeah, W. Bush. Buddy didn't s- have a SNES game almost made about him, so. <laughs> Spot, a Springer Spaniel. I think this is who you were referring to earlier. Uh, George W. Bush's dog, Barney, a Scottish Terrier. Um, India the cat. Uh, They had a polydactyl cat named Ernie who was judged too wild for White House life and now lives with a family in California. (laughs) Sure, why not? And uh, Barack Obama had Bo, a Portuguese water dog. And uh, they introduced another Portuguese water dog later on in their their time in office, uh, Sonny. Uh, and that's it. No pets for Trump. Now, granted, there's I don't no, know when there's this was, no way this was he doesn't updated. <laughs> there's no way that at some point he at least has paid someone to shoot a tiger while he watched. (laughs) To hear the full episode, head over to patreon.com slash predictocast. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. The podcast where nerdy dads talk nerdy fads. We talk life, entertainment, and give advice to those who never asked for it. Like anytime I do anything, my brother calls me a thought. What do I do? Or, best college degree for a supervillain. So go smash that like button. Find us wherever podcasts live. Uh, Where's that, Jared? A magical place called the internet. Like Spider-Man and Elsa's shipping videos. (laughs) Dad, I'm hungry. Wait! Forge audio. Dream it. Build it. Share it.